this video, we're going to set up a virtual camera in OBS. And the first thing we need to do is check which version of OBS we're running. That's because the Linux virtual camera was not added to OBS until version 26.1. If you have that, let's get started by installing V4L2 Loopback. Installation varies depending on which Linux distribution you're running. With Arch's Pac-Man, Debian and Ubuntu use apt. Fedora requires some additional setup, so check the guide linked in the description. And finally, Suzy. Suzy uses Zipper. In this guide, I'm going to be using Debian, so the two things we need to install are the Linux kernel headers and v 4 loopback. We'll go ahead and tap yes and wait a moment while it builds the kernel module. Once that's done, we're going to reboot the system. All right, we're back from the reboot and you should notice a brand new button in OBS. Start virtual camera. Press it and enter your super user password. Now let's try it out with Discord by going into user settings, then down to voice and video. Under the camera, you should see the OBS virtual camera. And if we press test video, we should be able to see what the OBS is cooking. Web-based video conferencing apps like Jitsi, Zoom, and Skype, they should work the same right out of the box. You can see Jitsi pulled up the virtual camera without any issues. And I'm going to zoom out for a moment to show you how it works. Anything you are seeing in the OBS preview window will be sent out via the virtual camera. And don't worry about the video being mirrored. That's normal. That's how it's supposed to work. And that's how you set up a virtual camera in Linux with OBS. Before I get out of here, I want to say thank you to our patrons. Without you, these guides do not exist. Now, like and subscribe on YouTube so people can find our content and leave your OBS questions in the comments because they just might end up as a topic for an upcoming video.